y'all, Caitlin from Coastal Carolina living out here. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. We're out here doing a little bit of fishing and we're gonna go check our crab pot that we put out last week. This is our first time putting out a crab pot um, and leaving it out and seeing what we get. We usually just go from the bridge or from one of the piers or docks. Um, so let's go see what we can find. All right, so we're pulling up on our crab pot here. We have it in about, it's in about five feet of water right here, right now with the current tide. Let's see if I'll be able to pull it off the bottom. I might need help pulling it off the bottom. <laughs> Hoping for at least half a dozen crabs. I got it. Ooh! Um, we got one crab. That's it? Yeah. And all of our bait's gone. Is it a female? I can't see from this angle. Look, they probably swam out. Oh. Huh. Man. Or somebody stole them. That happens too. We can get back in the creek where that honey hole is if you want to put them in there. Yeah. Is she going to keep it either way though or no? Oh yeah, she'd keep. <clears throat> this is supposed to be closed though. Like that. This is what you brought? Yeah, there's, so you got to flip it. And then there's some mullet in there. Just open the trap. Stuff them all in there. You can check it again at the end of the day. All right, so we have some frozen finger mullet. Put that in there, and then we're gonna move the location so maybe it's not in such a visible spot. Alrighty. And then we can go hit our favorite spot while it ties up. All right, y'all, so we've paddled back here into one of these creeks, um, and we're kind of in one of these deep holes that we found back here. It's about eight or nine feet deep here. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the crab pot kind of off to the side, and then I'm going to see if we can pull up a flounder real quick. All right. So I've put the bait in the crab pot, and I've secured everything down, so I'm going to just kind of go over here off to the side a little bit, and I'll see if I can't. So we're going to go ahead and take our crab pot and we're going to drop it back down here. Alright, so we've gone ahead and dropped our crab pot. I don't know if you can see me or the crab pot, but it's down there. We have our identifier, which has all of our information on it. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can't catch ourselves a fish. All right, so I'm out here fishing with, um, this is our toad fish rod. This is a six foot eight medium and moderate fast. And I've got the 2500 series reel. And we're fishing with a little four inch, or actually this is a three and a half inch voodoo shrimp, the pearl with a chartreuse tail. And this is normally a good spot for us, so let's see what we can pull up. Beautiful out here today. It's probably about 80 degrees. 
not a cloud in the sky, the birds are chirping. What a beautiful Saturday morning we've been blessed with. We've spent all week working up at our hunting lease. Um, so this is our first day out here this week fishing. And we definitely, we definitely missed our salt water. I think next weekend we're gonna go try kayaking in the Wonkama River. So if anyone has any tips or tricks or places to go or things to things to kind of bring with us for fishing wise, go ahead and drop a comment down below and let us know. One of the things I love about this new kayak we got here is the instant reverse feature. Um, because it's the uh, propeller driven, I can just wheel backwards and it will back up. It's really nice when you're out here trying to fish and you can kind of just go forward and backwards a little bit. You don't need to use an anchor so it's easy to get around. Um, and you can kind of hold yourself in place over where you're trying to fish. We've been having a lot better luck with the larger voodoo shrimp, um, the four inches, but I got a three and a half inch on here. And I don't have any scissors with me or nippers to go ahead and switch it up a bit. No, he popped off. Nice flounder. Ah, oh, the nice flounder. Hey y'all, Big Mama's gonna pedal us all the way down to the inlet. We'll see. I'm gonna have jello legs after this, but we're cruising. We're going. I feel like um, a mooch. I'm mooching off your muscles. Um, we are going three miles per hour. Maybe we can get down to the creeks back in there. That's what I'm hoping. Never you know how there. if you go all the way down to where like we were on the beach that one day? And there's that huge creek off to the left? But that's past, where I want to go. Damn. But past from where we went that one time. Yeah. yeah. Remember Pedaling down this creek out into the inlet. Um, tomorrow's supposed to be a really flat day. So we're gonna go see what it's like just off the just over the surf and see what it's like. So maybe tomorrow we can send the kayaks out a little bit into the ocean. What do you think, Big Steve? Full sand. <laughs> you know, I'm crazy. I'm always crazy. Crazy, son of a... All right, we're in about nine feet of water right now. We're about to come through the... All right, let's send it off. Through the channel, out into the ocean, so we'll see how it goes. Probably gonna get a little bit of water in my kayak. Um, Stu's walls are a little bit higher, but we'll see. I got both my paddles. Woo! Got my life vest. Got my fish finder. Let's go! Woo! Woo!
guess they are coming. It's a little scary when it's behind you. You can't see what's coming. water in here. No one's in there so it should just drain out the scuppers. Okay. Pull that other front one. Let it drain out before we start. What do you think? How's it look? I think I can do it. Once you get past these couple of little ways, I'll probably hold my power though. Yeah I would. You're done? We can go back. You just gotta turn at the right time. Don't turn on the wave. Oh, I can't hear you. Are these getting worse or is it just me? Yeah, that's a big one, Kay. Turn around. Kay, turn around. Just gotta time it right, Kay. It's a wave. <laughs> what? The? Our boat's sinking. I'm sinking. Just drag it, just drag it, don't I get can't. it. I can't. I'm caught in the thing. My phone's on. Get your shoes, get your shoes. Still works.
Garmin works fine. Did you lose all your scuppers or you still got them all? I got two. Just make sure he knows we're okay and it was a foot of water. It was literally a foot of water and I It's like the 18th wind knot on that pole. Got him. It's not as big. Um, yeah, let me get the net. Yeah, hurry. Flounder! Yeah. Huh? It's a low one. Yeah. He's gone. Again. Dude, I don't know where these waves came from, but it's not the wind picked up too. I know. All right, let's try again. Lizard fish, I never caught a lady. It did get cold. Ooh. Is that a bump? Yeah. I bet you I put the gotcha plug on this one. You probably get it. Because it's a... Like yeah, so that's what I was thinking. A couple more casts and then we should, I think. Flip too, though, because you like. There he is. Got him. Is 
there's a shark? It's a shark. Popped off. Shark. Yeah, it was a shark. There's no way that was a Spanish mackerel. got to get out there. Three? Three, Three keepers? Till the morning? Massive. I'm trying to come over and look. Can I pull you to me? Probably. Hang on. Yeah, we should just be leaving this out every time. Oh my, is that a big male? He's got the other female on him, right? That's what they do. The big males all. I'm just trying to get a better view. Do you want to wear this? So you could show it? Yeah, he's, he's, is that a female underneath him or a male? Another one over there. That one might be a keeper. This one, this is nice. And there's a little, little, little one down there. Yeah. We're gonna throw it back. You know, okay for the morning? Yeah, definitely. Amateur hour. 